In this video, we will go over how to publish your Google site. So we are going to go into our Google site that we have been building across this series, and now we are ready to publish it. So to access your publish settings, you can click on the little share icon, and it will show all the people that you have shared your website with if you um, have invited people to share. You can also click on the publishing settings, um, that change button, and it will show the different levels of publish settings that you can have for a website in our district. You can can open it up to the entire internet that's the anyone can find um, that's the top setting there with the globe icon um, so that would mean it was a fully public website the middle section and that's the default one is that it is protected to just our district so anyone in our school district would be able to see the website um, but it would be limited to those with a district login um, and so that's kind of a protected um, published setting or you can have it so that only specific people can see uh, your website when it is published. And so that one might be for students that are making a website and it would only be published to the teacher. So there's that nice preview button. Uh, and if you click on that, it will show you what your website will look like uh, once it is published. And you can scroll through and see what it would look like. It'll even show you what it would look like on a tablet or a phone and you can uh, click on the X down in the bottom right when you are done checking out the preview and it will take you back to the editing page. So that's the little preview icon in the top next to the sharing button. Then there's those three uh, dots and that's where you can edit or add that favicon, which we did in a previous video. And that would show up in the top tab when you do publish your website, which we are ready to do. So we're going to click that publish uh, button and then it will have you give your uh, website its full name. It'll go off of the website title, but you can change it. Then there's also that option to bring up your publishing settings to make sure that they're accurate and then click the publish button. You will need to click the publish button when you make changes. Now there's a new drop down next to the publish icon since it's now published and you can uh, access your published settings there. You can also unpublish your site from this menu and you can view your published site here. And so now you can see that I have published published site and up in the top on the tab, I now have my favicon, my avatar. Instead of the Google site logo, I have my personalized logo. And so once you publish your site, that's where that favicon shows up. So it's a pretty cool feature. I have my personalized uh, website logo in the tab for my website. So going back to that editing page in that publish menu, uh, that's where you can access publish settings to change the level of your website. And you'll need to click that publish uh, button after you make any changes to your website in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to the EdTech Team YouTube channel and check out the next video in our playlist.